So, in fact, yes, they are taking fuel right away from people as they attempt to fuel their vehicles. And uh, people are surrounding the police, even though the police are actually being extremely calm and uh, cool about kind of everything, except for they're taking fuel, I guess. But uh, other than that, they're being they're being pretty respectful to everyone, considering they just got surrounded in like two seconds. that we have till midnight to supply these families with fuel. It's been all over. Yeah, who told you that? Why would you guys try and starve out people fighting for their freedoms no, legally? There's been no evidence of violence here at all. Sir, who told you until midnight? I don't care. You guys are going to take our fuel? You're trying to get away from the point. Right now, you're starving families out. Is there a law? Yeah, they're, they're taking our fuel. These, they, so here the officers have come in and started to steal the fuel that the volunteers locally have been bringing in. It was their first attempt. Now our move. friendly now that he knows she's being broadcasted. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, guys, I cannot find Tim Hortons. I'm going back up there to the convoy. But there's your budget truck. There's the budget truck we've been telling you about. Remember the false flag we were discussing in the morning? When the fuck do you see cops driving around in budget trucks acting all sketchy with special constable agent uniforms carrying really weird things in really weird ways? That's not normal. As somebody that has been down here and watched Hells Angels own clubs being raided and all kinds of stuff, I can tell you what we just watched there? Completely abnormal for any circumstance involving police down here. Like, this building, what the hell? The Bank of Montreal, man, like they're sneaking shit in the back door of the Bank of Montreal, it's not a hotel. It's the Bank of Montreal. What would they possibly be sneaking in there? Something's weird going on, man. What's all the buckets? What's that? What's in the buckets? Stuff. Can I help you? Well, I'm just exercising my Second Amendment rights. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a good place. Yeah. What is that? What's that? What is that, sir? You tell me. It's a pure corrosive substance. Of information. Toxic explosive corrosive substance in my hotel. I can't believe it. I can't believe it that they're gonna left like that, a pile of rocks. They think that we're gonna be violent with that. They think that we're gonna be violent. That's exactly what I want to say. Exactly, that's it, brothers. That's Share the truth. That's bad. That's really fucking bad. That's no, like giving.
night tonight. Uh, they're not going to allow anybody to bring in propane, no gas cans. Anybody that brings in fuel will be charged with assisting in illegal activity. Uh, they're, because they're, they're, what they're claiming is that this convoy is illegal. So they're saying, the, the, now those cops said that they were not going to enforce it today. They wanted them to start enforcing it today. They said no. But at midnight tonight, anybody that's bringing in jerry cans, uh, propane tanks, fuel of any kind, is assisting in illegal activity. The fuel will be seized and you will be charged. Diesel included? Diesel included. Thank you. Fill up all the cars now? Is that what's that, sir? Fill up all the cars now? Fill up all the cars today. If you need to get fuel, get your fuel in today. I just found something on uh, Facebook. I'm going to read it to you. It says, do not use the GoFundMe refund form. Issue a chargeback or open a dispute with your bank. This way, GoFundMe will have to pay 15 US dollars or more for each chargeback yeah. request, plus the refund value. That's how all banks work. And then it says, please share this as much as possible. If we're successful, GoFundMe will regret, regret doing this because they'll lose tons of money. <laughs> so fun. USA truckers to DC, listen up. You can text convoy to 74121. They'll text you back on a different number and give you updates. If y'all could just please share this, get the word out because as y'all know, they're trying to silence us. They're taking us down left and right, Facebook, TikTok. It really doesn't matter. Their telegram is up and running. I'm staying pretty frequent with that. But if you want another way to be able to stay up to date with what they're doing and what's going on, try this. Please share, duet, get this information out. Because they are so Our compassionate caregivers provide one-on-one -on -one essential home care services for our senior loved ones. At Visiting Angels, personal home care is our passion. We're here for you. Talk about the convoy from California to D.C. The official name is The People's Convoy. You can follow along on Gab.com, Telegram, as well as Facebook if you're not already doing so. Share out the links. Share the, uh, the, the posts. Share the information with everybody. This is not just for truckers. This is for everybody. Cars, pickups, RVs, what have you. Um... Know also that Freedom Fighter Nation has joined in. They can be found at freedomfighternation.org as well as Restore Liberty. And they can be found at restore-liberty.org. There will be an update later today, so stay tuned. Um, it's happening. March 1st, one group coming out of Sacramento, California, one coming out of Barstow, California, headed east. Okay? Um, and I know there's some people from the northwest and the southwest that are wanting to go we're working on that uh maybe you guys can work your way just down as we take off and meet us somewhere coming across um i know the southern border is a big thing i'm hoping as we do this maybe there's people that can't go to dc that will do that if you're in a car if you're in an rv doesn't matter what you're in it has motors and wheels okay jump in if you can't go the whole way fine jump in for a little while i'm going to suggest that if you're going to be a part of it, you go get yourself a CB. Because they may try and cut phone service out. They may try and make it, you know, whatever. CBs aren't really interfered with. You can get handheld ones. They're not that expensive. It's a way to stay in communication.
The military basically just told the liberals to go fuck themselves. They're not getting involved in arresting everybody in the convoy and moving people. Everybody no, shut sorry. up! Pay attention. This is not an excuse for any of you freshmen and sophomores to disrespect your teachers. If I hear of anybody disrespecting teachers or staff tomorrow, that makes us look bad. We want this to be a peaceful, respectful movement. We are just trying to gain back our rights as citizens. We do not care about, the teachers in the end are just doing their jobs. It doesn't come from them. It comes from the state. Now, what we're hoping is that they kick us out. This sounds bad, but we're hoping that they kick us out because they have to report that attendance to the state. And if the state sees a day where 100 or I don't even know how many kids are here are absent, they're going to start asking questions. Our hope is, is we can get this statewide. Now, I might get in trouble for this, but the plan still stands for Wednesday. For tomorrow, I mean. Everybody is going to meet at the back row of the senior parking lot, and we're all walking into the school with no mask on. You can get me in trouble. They can suspend me. I don't care. We're done with this. And obviously, all of you are, too. Shut up. Shut up. Obviously, all you are are done with the mask, too. Now, again... We're doing this peacefully and respectfully. If a, st if a staff member asks you to put a mask on, you say no thank you and keep walking. And if they kick you out, then go home. And if people need, ri need rides home, then some of the seniors, I'm sure we can start giving people rides home. That's about it. <laughs>
look, they're scared. They're backing up. That's right. Yeah! That's right. Freedom! Be the people! Not enough, yeah, right. Trudeau does. That's why you got. There's no amendment that's absolute. There's no amendment that's absolute. There's no amendment that's absolute.